good morning ladies and gentlemen so in this video we are going to cover the current affairs for mobile optimized ebooks please install gk today academy app and there you can get the current affairs in digest format as well as in the quiz format and this is how you can attempt the quiz for regular updates please install telegram channel this is the name of telegram channel gk today youtube now let's start the quiz a uh, one more thing you can get the link of gk today academy app as well as the link of this telegram channel in the description box so now let's start mukhya mantri sahari rozgar guarantee yojana is the initiative of which state that ensures employment for at least 120 days to the urban dwellers so this is an initiative of himachal pradesh government and the state government decided to provide employment to the urban dwellers under this mukhya mantri sahari rozgar guarantee scheme now the state decided to do so because a lot of people became jobless due to this lockdown himachal pradesh was also in news because of e sanjeevni opd initiative now what is the purpose of this initiative through this initiative online medical consultation will be provided to the sick people so it is like telemedicine the state government was also in news because of its active case finding program and as per this program the state government started looking for those people who may have coronavirus which state becomes the first in india to provide free and cashless insurance cover to its people so it is maharashtra recently maharashtra became the first in our country to provide free and cashless insurance cover and as per the mahatma jyotiba phule jan arogya yojana approximately 85% of the state's population was already covered now the state government decided to cover remaining 15% under the scheme and therefore maharashtra became the first state in our country to provide free and cashless insurance cover to its people now recently maharashtra was in news as a d b that is asian development bank approved loan to maharashtra to provide reliable power connection in the rural areas of maharashtra and this loan was provided on the basis of rbl modality what is rbl it is results based lending so therefore india became the first country in south asia to receive loan under this rbl modality india is the largest borrower of asian development bank and india is the fourth largest shareholder in asian development bank answer in comment box which countries are top 3 shareholders in asian development bank indian professor t pradeep has been selected for the 25th nikkei asia prizes 2020 the nikkei asia prize was created and presented by a media corporation based in which country so this question is related to nikkei asia prize 2020 and it has been presented by a media corporation based in japan and it is presented to those individuals who have contributed to the sustainable development so iit madras professor t pradeep has been selected for this award for developing a nanotechnology enabled water filter and this water filter can deliver clean water at the cost of 2 pesa per liter now if we talk about japan japan was also in news because of order of rising sun and for this japan recently selected manipuri doctor t dabali singh japan was also in news because of tokyo 2020 japan is the host of summer olympics and now these games have been postponed to 2021 recently canada announced its withdrawal from the tokyo olympics apart from that recently the weightlifters from Thailand and Malaysia were recently banned to participate in Tokyo Olympics. What is the theme of World Press Freedom Day that is celebrated on 3rd of May? So the theme is journalism without fear or favor. Every year on 3rd of May, World Press Freedom Day is celebrated and the theme was journalism without fear or favor and it was celebrated by UNESCO. So now 3rd of May is World Press Freedom Day while 4th of May is International Firefighters Day 5th of May is International Day of Midwife 5th of May is also celebrated as World Hand Hygiene Day and 5th of May is also celebrated as World Asthma Day What is the name of Lokpal member and the former Chief Justice of Chhattisgarh High Court who passed away 
recently so justice ajay kumar tripathi passed away recently he was the member of lokpal now answer in comment box who is the present chief of lokpal or chairperson of lokpal janet bedoya lima has been named as the laureate of 2020 unesco gulermo cano prize this award is associated with which field so this award is associated with the journalism and it is named after a journalist gulermo cano who was a colombian journalist and who was assassinated now recently one more journalist was in news his name is daniel pearl answer in comment box he was associated to which country now coming back to the question so janeth bedoya lima was selected for 2020 gulermo cano prize and she is from colombia actually every year on 3rd of may on the occasion of world press freedom day this award is announced so the work of janeth bedoya lima focus on the armed conflict in the country as well as on the sexual violence against women and she is a colombian journalist which indian journalist has been selected as the recipient of freedom of speech award presented by the deutsche welle so siddharth vardhrajan from the wire has been selected for this award which is to be presented by deutsche welle deutsche welle is a german public international broadcaster and it is also known as dw the first instance of african swine fever has been reported in which indian state or union territory so recently it was reported in assam and due to this african swine fever more than 2500 pigs died it is important to note that this is the first instance of african swine fever in our country one more important thing is that the swine flu can spread from animal to human but in case of swine fever as of now we do not have enough evidence to support this claim that it can spread from animal to human therefore as of now this african swine fever is not a public health threat what is the name of us based private equity firm which is to acquire 1.15% stakes in jio platform by investing 5655.75 crores so us based private equity firm silver lake is going to invest in jio platforms for 1.15% stakes it is important to note that few days ago facebook announced that it is going to acquire 9.9% stakes in jio platforms what is the name of multimedia guide on covid-19 that was launched by union health minister so dr harshvardhan recently launched this covid katha and it provides consolidated and authentic information on the covid-19 so nctc and armt collaborated for this initiative what is nctc it is national council for science and technology communication and it is under department of science and technology and what is armt it is dr anamika ray memorial trust so these two organizations have collaborated to provide a multimedia guide for the mass awareness about covid-19 now this nctc was also in news as recently it launched a program on health and risk communication and the name of this program is yash answer in comment box what is the full form of yash what is the name of new private public partnership initiative available on arogya setu app that will offer free online covid-19 related consultation the name of this platform is arogya setu mitra and this is going to provide free online covid-19 related consultation it is important to note that it is claimed that arogya setu mitra is a separate site and therefore it is not going to use the individual data from arogya setu app the biggest criticism of arogya setu app is that it is not backed by any law and there is no sunset clause what is sunset clause it means it is not specified that the information collected through this arogya setu app will not be used anywhere else okay now coming back to the original question so this arogya setu mitra will provide free tele consultation to the people with covid-19 symptoms and for this three private companies have collaborated these three companies are tata group and then tech mahindra and swast 
with state government has recently amended the Mandi Act to assist farmers in obtaining maximum value of their production. So this was done by Madhya Pradesh government, and the state government announced that now farmers of the state need not to go to the Mandi or market; they can directly sell their product to the private traders. And for this, the state government amended the Mandi Act so that farmers can obtain maximum value of their production. Now, Madhya Pradesh was also in news as recently Mr. Sivraj Singh Chauhan became the chief minister. Previous chief minister was Mr. Kamal Nath. State government was also in news because of Jeevan Sakti Yojana, and it is a scheme. As per this scheme, women in urban areas can earn by making masks, and state government is going to purchase the mask from. these ladies madhya pradesh was also in news because of covid-19 yodha kalyan scheme and it is a scheme announced by the state government to provide the support to the corona warriors the saras collection which showcases utility products made by rural sg that is self help group has been launched by which e-commerce portal so this has been launched by gem that is government e marketplace and recently Union Minister of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj Narendra Singh Tomar launched this Saras collection on government e-marketplace. Now the products made by these rural self-help groups can be purchased through this e-commerce portal, and it is a initiative of government e-marketplace in association with Din Dayal Antyodaya Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission. So now central and state government buyers can directly purchase. from these rural self help group what exactly is government e marketplace it is like online shopping platform for government authorities now suppose if they need to purchase a set of table and chair they can order through this government e marketplace and this platform was launched by commerce ministry and it is an online platform for public procurement by the government authorities now mr narendra singh tomar was also in news as recently he launched kisan rath answer in comment box what is the purpose of this initiative which plant species was removed from the tree category through amendment made in the indian forest act of 1927 so bamboo was removed from the category of tree by the amendments in indian forest act of 1927 now recently this entire event was in news because recently union minister for donor that is union minister for development of northeast region dr jitendra singh addressed a bamboo conclave through video conferencing peter abdon a former world champion who announced his retirement is associated to which field so he is a well known snooker champion and he announced his retirement recently he was popular as the force so these were the most important questions of today's quiz now we are going to cover important news so first and foremost news is related to nam what is nam it is non aligned movement so recently it was in news because prime minister modi participated in the virtual summit of nam and this summit held under the presidency of president of republic of azerbaijan and the theme of this event was united against covid-19 and this is going to be the first time indian prime minister attended a nam summit level meeting since he became the prime minister in 2014 next news is related to special corona fees so recently delhi government decided to impose the special corona fees on liquor and it is going to be 70% of the mrp that means this money will be charged additionally as special corona fees next news is related to facebook as facebook has launched a home to home fundraiser concert and the name of this concert is i for india and for this concert facebook has partnered with various bollywood artist next is related to wada that is world anti doping agency so recently wada banned indian discus thrower sandeep kumari for 4 years recently wada banned russia for 4 years apart from that recently tennis player of egypt yusuf osam was banned for lifetime and he was banned by tiu what is tiu it is tennis integrity unit next news is related to drdo drdo is defense research and development organization it is under ministry of defense and recently drdo developed uv that is ultraviolet disinfection tower so 
this can sanitize big areas such as malls or hospitals in a very short time next news is related to nbwl that is national board for wildlife so recently this national board for wildlife approved a road through namdhapa tiger reserve and this tiger reserve is in arunachal pradesh so recently the road through this tiger reserve was approved and this will improve the patrolling in this tiger reserve now nbwl is a statutory body and it is under wildlife protection act of 1972 it is important to note that this organization national board for wildlife is chaired by prime minister and environment minister is vice chair next news is related to global free press index and recently it was released by reporters without borders and as per this report norway is on top position while india is on 142nd position last year india was on 140th china is on 177th position next news is related to coronavirus detection kit and the name of this kit is e cov sense so it is a biosensor that can detect the presence of coronavirus antigen in human saliva and it can detect within 30 seconds so this biosensor was developed by niab hyderabad what is niab it is national institute of animal biotechnology and this eco sense is a coronavirus detection kit next news is related to commonwealth youth games so recently they were postponed to 2023 now answer in comment box which country is the host of commonwealth youth games next news is related to global report on food crisis so this report was released by global network against food crisis and next news is related to usa as recently us president nominated indo american ashok michael pinto as us representative to ib rd what is ibrd it is international bank of reconstruction and development recently us also appointed another indo american as us envoy to oecd answer in comment box what is her name so these were the most important events of the day thank you and that's all for the day